who is still like a child? Who among you can still learn, can still change, can still adapt, question, introspect, investigate, really ask why, really understand? Which one of you still have the creativity, the willingness to come, come up with ideas, with solutions that whenever you see a problem you try to figure it out and you'll spend days at it, weeks, months until you solve it. Which among you can enjoy being practically anywhere where with simple things very simple things such as pieces of stick, piece of wood, pretty much anything, everything you look upon, you see something that you can play with, that you can use, that you can enjoy using in some creative way, simply to either just entertain yourself or maybe even to create something practical because that's something fun for you to do. Which among you still have justice, integrity, desire to do what is right, what is needed, to have a sense of principle, of code, of honor. The willingness to see, understand, learn, put yourselves in someone else's shoes, to express yourself unconditionally in dance, in song, in talking, conversation, in observation, which you, what you are observing in real time. To actually share without any fear, without any hesitation, with a trust and understanding and a willingness to, to try and to fail and the desire to see the result that you want and to actually manifest it by yourself. That still enjoys being with other people, enjoys company, enjoys the, the group, the family, the teamwork, the team, the people, enjoys animals and all the plants and all the animals, all the insects, all of the earth, all the land, the landscapes, snow, the beaches, the sun, the winters, the spring, the autumn. To enjoy running outside, playing a game, having fun. All of this children have access to if they are supported by their parents, by their community, by their society. If you would create a society and become a people that supports not only children everywhere, but adults as well, everyone of every age and of every background, if you create such a society and be such a people that you support everyone, then you can live like children again. It will come natural to you. Because that's something that comes with that space within yourself. Where you are taking control of your life. You are exploring. You are acting. You are making the decisions. And if you are thrown in survival, if you're thrown in a place of no support, there's a chance you may succeed or fail, but either way, it's not what it means to really live, of course, it's just survival. So we need to eliminate 
survival's needs. We need to fulfill survival's basic need. If we, that's fulfilled, then we can actually start creating a world that really is, would be a reflection of, of what our potential is that it's through our own hands that we create it. A life that where you can teach and learn, where you can speak and listen, and you can share unconditionally. And you just have to remember that and hold on to that. You hold on to that within yourself. And let that be your guiding principle, your reason why you're going to create a world that supports everyone's survival need. If you take care of the survival need for everyone, you will have that world. You will, you will have the foundation for that world. That world would be possible. So hold on to that vision and find a way to create the world that is, that is possible. We just have to create it. We have the tools. We just need the people to move it, to use the tools. It is possible. And it will take children to be childlike. It will take your willingness to change, to learn, to adapt, and to become that which you know is best for you and for everyone else. Be that example.